John Calipari going to Arkansas is smart or slimy. What say you, Caleb Calhoun? It's smart. I mean, it's smart because you know that given his buyout, Arkansas probably opened up the checkbook to get him. And quite honestly, the pressure won't be there the same level it is at Kentucky, even though Arkansas is a good has a good basketball history. He can he already has Arkansas wins titles usually by recruiting Memphis kids. And Calipari already has a lot of connections there. Mm -hmm. So I think this is actually very smart by Calipari. And he'll be appreciated more there. Kentucky, I can't call it slime because Kentucky wanted him gone anyway. So I think all around it was smart and it's a win-win for everybody involved except for the other SEC schools who may lose their coach, which we'll get to in a little while. But yeah, I think it was smart. Okay, I'm going to adapt a little bit. I'm going to say John Calipari's move to Arkansas is smart and savvy. And then John Calipari's move to Arkansas is slimy and scared. Because I think there is a little bit of fear factor that goes into this. The fact that those, oh, those terrible Kentucky fans are so hard on me. And they're wearing bags over their faces and they're, they're holding up signs that I shouldn't be their coach and it hurts my feelings. I think it's a sign of a guy who's ready to throw in the towel and, and give up. And at 65, if I'm Arkansas, that would concern me. I mean, is he still as driven as he used to be? Was he ever incredibly driven because of his relationship with Nike that made his job so much easier? Trust me, we've, and Caleb, you have too. You've been in jobs where you have a good relationship with the right person in the business and it makes your job that much easier. Calipari's been in that situation. The other question I have for Calipari, Caleb, you and I discussed this last week. Is he willing to go and chuck at least the majority of one and done? Is he willing to say, I'm going to build this program like he built Memphis with Derrick Rose? And correct me if I'm wrong, because you know about them more than I do. But that was a program that was built on solid players and had one superstar one and done. Does he go back to that model, which he got away from at Kentucky? Does he really change anything or is he playing out the string like Rick Patino his mentor is? What do you think? Oh, he's playing out the string. He's just he's collecting a check. Oh, that setup and you took the easy out. He did. He is though, but he's good. But again, he never really had to work hard coaching anyway. All he does is use his AAU connections to recruit, get top five talent, then roll the ball out and let him play and then collect that check. That's all he's ever done. So right. I don't know if it'll be the same because Kentucky's not Ar Arkansas is not Kentucky. So maybe he'll get two one and dones instead of five in a starting lineup every year. But yeah, no, he's, he's still collecting a check. It's John Calipari. Okay, guys, it, it's the best. He is the smartest PR person that I've ever seen in the way he plays to the media because he makes you, he makes it sound like he, he, he comes across like he knows more than you about everything when he talks to you, but he doesn't. And it's he's very skilled at that, almost like a, almost like a Derek Dooley style. But if Derek Dooley could win, <laughs> and recruit at an incredibly high, crazy level, uh, that that would be him. I thought it was very <clears throat> odd the timing of it, and he talked the ultimate finger up to Kentucky. It, it definitely was, and I just go back to when that hiring was made from the university of memphis didn't you think it was going to end this exact way that he would just bolt at some point because he wouldn't feel as appreciated i mean the chances of him going winning three or four titles which it would have taken at least two to make kentucky fans happy was a possibility the chances of him winning no titles i didn't think was really a possibility but the chances of him being underappreciated a la steve spurrier back in 20 or 2001 was how I saw this thing ending the entire time. Yeah, no, I totally agree. That's, um, I, I won't pretend that I saw this ending. I mean, good, that's a good call by you that you saw that. Uh, I wasn't, he had issues in coaching and I saw him at Memphis. I mean, he, that national title game with Derrick Rose that they lost to Kansas was all because Calipari did the worst coaching job during the final two minutes of that game. Oh yeah. He should and, tackle the Kansas guy. Yeah, he should. Exactly. He should have tackled Mario Chalmers. Um, so with that in mind, I think Calipari has, <laughs> I, I didn't see this. I wasn't sure if he would win a national title, but I'm not shocked that he did. I honestly thought he would win two or three um, after he won the first one. I, I thought more was coming after Anthony Davis. So 
Um, I didn't fully see it ending this way. I don't know if he considers his tenure at Kentucky a disappointment. I don't know if Kentucky fans consider his tenure a disappointment. That's kind of debatable. I mean, you know, sometimes someone's so successful oh, and you, you do wonder. I'm curious. Did you, I, I, if you be a Kentucky fan right now, would you be disappointed if you went and hired John Calipari and he brought you one title in what, 10 years? 15. Yes, I would be totally disappointed oh, yeah, because of the would. recruiting he got. Absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't be okay Absolutely. with any of that. It's not it's not called signing day madness. It's called March Madness. I don't care who you signed. No, I totally agree. I totally agree. And he didn't deliver. Now it's funny you brought up Steve Spurrier because Steve Spurrier also only won one national title at Florida and he only won and he would not have won that national title had the BCS existed in 96. That's kind of a funny fact about Spurrier in Florida. But the difference is Spurrier took over a Florida team that had never won anything, whereas Kentucky has standards. However, guys, no coach in the post Adolph Rupp era of Kentucky has won more than one national title at Kentucky. Now, yes, Rick Pitino would have won another one had he stayed. That team Tubby Smith won it with, that was mostly Rick Pitino's team. But that's, that, you know, Rick Pitino has won. Um, I forget who won it with Kentucky in 77, 78. I'm already forgetting the name. You know the name. Um, and then John Calipari has one and Tubby Smith have won. Four different coaches have national titles at Kentucky post Adolph Rupp. None more than one. Wait, who, who did you say again? And I can, I can catch Rick Pitino, Tubby Smith. Um, John Calipari and the coach in the 70s, and I'm drawing a total blink. Was it Eddie Sutton or was it before Eddie Sutton? I think it was before Eddie Sutton. Might be it. Oh, my gosh. Well, let me ask you Yes, Joby Hall. Joby Hall, yes. Does Calipari make this push, make this move if Eric Musselman doesn't get the surprise offer from Southern California and the surprise move? I mean, that because it's not two SEC schools, that's not as newsy and sexy salacious-wise, but it was a pretty big deal for him to go – from Arkansas to Southern California. Is Calipari putting out these feelers anyway? Is he going to try to go somewhere even without Musselman moving? I don't think so. I think Arkansas made the offer. I think this was Arkansas making the offer. I think he would next year, but I think it kind of just fell into place this year. Yeah, I totally agree. No, this was totally Arkansas making a, I think, an advisable offer, but you know, Arkansas has been chasing the ghost of Nolan Richardson, even though Nolan Richardson is alive. But they've been chasing his ghost for 20 years because, like you said, they thought they were bigger than him. It's the show and... where we kill basketball coaches. I think <laughs> uh, we got rid of Wade Houston and, and Nolan Richardson. Um, Arkansas. Can't compare those two coaches. Yeah, Arkansas, where do, you, where do you rank that as the best job? Would we agree that Kentucky's the best job anymore? It's still the best job, probably. But, like, I don't know if Arkansas is ahead of Alabama. I think Alabama, they invest in the program, and there's a better appreciation for just going to the Final Four with what Nate Oates does. So, What about Texas? Texas fired Rick Barnes. Their most successful coach. The expectations are too high at Texas. Well, they are, but they seem to have been dulled down, as they tend to do with some average play. I I like the Texas thing because I think you can kind of hide behind the football program, too. But you're well-funded so you don't have an issue.